Hi, Jeff Higley, Hotel News Now. We're here at the International Hotel Investment Forum in Berlin. I'm sitting with David Etzmanan, the President and CEO of Novum Hospitality. David, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jeff. First of all, you've been a very busy company over the past, uh, well, really past decade, but there's been a lot of uh, activity going on with your company with this new brand. Absolutely. New, right? So can you ta talk a little bit about the goal for that brand and where you stand right now? Yes, absolutely. Um, look, Jeff, we started uh, 48 months ago uh, in, in, in Germany to change our strategy into an asset light um, expansion growth. And um, with new, we put our focus into a niche segment between a three-star mid-scale product and a four-star upscale product. Um, new is uh, meaning for native, inspiring, unique. And with these words, you can play around and find creativities. Like the neighborhood storytelling between this concept is the fundament of design scheming of the room, of the interior design in public spaces, in the flooring, in, at the elevator, at the public toilets. And with this unique concept, we try in the um, inspiration and unique part that we put uh, asset, um, a light F&B concept and into the asset painting artist. Reputation management and customer experience is the essential brand power of rolling out a successful brand. We targeted 80 to 100 of news to roll out. Currently we have 48 news under opening or under construction which is an equity fund of more than 1.7 billion euros where we have a sustainable cooperation with developers on the investment side and we as a pure management and operating company. Let's look back and ahead. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the history of your company, your second generation, yes. and then tell us where you want to be. You have 160 properties in the pipeline and open now. Yes. How big do you want to grow? Jeff, first of all, we started um, in focusing of existing hotels to put I would say meat on the bones and could have an excellent track record on financial uh, report. So our balance sheet grow in a cash flow method. The mechanism of growing in the past was taking over existing business, putting them in a three-star segment, which is a bit lean to cooperation like Best Western or like Choice. And we do the sales marketing, IT technology, the procurement. So standardizing in terms of globalization was the impact of our growth strategy. But changing the model during the 48 months in the past, we started to acquire, first of all, a four-star upscale segment, which is oriented more for business segment, corporate, mice, conference hotels. So do you expect to grow outside of the region that you're in now? I know you said you're, yes. you're going into the UK now. Yes. What, yes. Will you be all of Europe at some point, around the world? What are, you, what are your expectations? Around the world, um, important is fundamental strategic partnerships. If we do cooperation with architects or with would say landlords who are experts in investment of properties we we say on a closed shop mechanism if there is a potential plot or a potential hotel like markets in the US which could fit in our growth strategy we could go and move forward that means we are looking currently also uh, uh, in the US. We are talking about New York, we are talking about Los Angeles, and um, will be also for the brand value and for the customer um, value, a USP to could adjust nice and metropole cities, which gives also for the brand uh, a huge impact. In closing, what are, what, what's the one opportunity, biggest opportunity for your company, and what's the biggest challenge for it? For a closing? 
you know the biggest opportunity for us is if we know that we could grow with a partner sustainable and we could scale it this is for us an opportunity to step in into a relationship best example last week um, I got a call from my CFO and he said David you have to come over to the headquarter um, there is a developer is flying with his jet and with 12 advisors coming straight over to us and he wants to get in touch with you and he wants to know you okay I said I will come over we have a deal in Dusseldorf and my team started negotiating two weeks ago so everything was as an opportunity we think about that everything was finalized but the chairman wanted to know the main CEO and chairman right. so I come over and he said David fundamental growth I love it and we want to enter now in the German market and we changed our he said I changed my mind to go with a potential operator into that field because he's not expert in terms of development mm -hmm. and that is an opportunity why we could now grow with this partner not even in Germany also in the UK because he's based in the UK so this is synergies effects where we know from the first time if there is an opportunity and we could build up a strategic partnership we catch the opportunity mm -hmm. and in these times the fundamental is the fastness nothing else David it's been a pleasure getting to know a little bit about Novum Hospitality I really appreciate your time I know it's been a very busy conference for you Jeff it was a pleasure to meet you thank you for your time thank you thank you